الله أكبر الله أكبر بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله <coughs> We continue in our series We'll be covering some verses A group of set of verses From the 13th juz uh, From Surah Ibrahim uh, Verses 24 We'll begin there inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Alam tara kayfa darab Allahu mathalan Do you see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Sets for us an example Kalimatan tayyibah a good word. Kashajaratin tayyiba is like a good tree. Asluha thabit, it is rooted deep in the ground. Wafaruha fisama, and its branches are to the sky. Tuti ukulaha kullahinin, it gives off food all the time, any season. Kullahinin bi idni rabbiha, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَيَضْرِبُ اللَّهُ الْأَمْثَالِ لِلنَّاسِ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives these examples to mankind لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَذَكَّرُونَ So that they may think and ponder. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَمَثَلُ كَلِمَةٍ كَخَبِيثَةٍ كَشَجَرَةٍ خَبِيثَةٍ And the example of a word that is خَبِيث Unpleasant Disliked is like an unpleasant and a disliked or even a hated tree. It is above the ground. Its roots are not deep in the earth. It is uprooted. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives this tathbit, gives this firm hearts to those who believe with this good bilqawli thabiti, by this good word, في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة in this life and the next ويضل الله الظالمين Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows and misguides those who are ظالمين oppressors or transgressors people who go beyond their limits ويفعل الله ما يشاء and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does as he wills so let's talk about these verses Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says كلمة طيبة and the scholars of tafsir say that this word that is good refers to the karima la ilaha illallah la ilaha illallah kashajarat shajaratin tayyibah it's like a good tree and the scholars there's two things we can take from here number one is that these trees that we're referring to are like the souls of mankind are like humanity and the good tree is the believer so let's go through and analyze how does it look like to be a believer. What are the qualities and the descriptions here that we should embody? Asluha <clears> thabit, <throat> its roots are firm in the ground. Wafaruha fis sama and its branches to the sky. This good word, deep rooted in the believer makes the believer firm. The wind can come and it doesn't blow it down. It doesn't move, it doesn't shake. Desires come, it's still firm. Doesn't move, doesn't shake. Peer pressure comes, it's still firm. It's deeply rooted in the earth. It's impossible to push over. So the believer is the one who has this la ilaha illallah, this kalima. Firm in their hearts. Not just a surface level. Just doing the actions without any belief in the heart. We just came from a couple of sections ago. Surah At-Tawbah talking about the hypocrites. And how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exposes them. They have the actions of the believers but not the heart. Iman is not deeply rooted into their hearts. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, the believer has this kalima deeply rooted into their heart. And when that happens, and you're deeply rooted into your heart, and this iman is deeply rooted into your heart, like a tree deeply rooted into the ground, what happens? This tree, when you plant it, it makes its roots firm first, 
And then it begins to grow on the outside. Subhanallah, this example is so beautiful on so many levels. You look at the Prophet ﷺ when Islam is first revealed, the majority and the focus of this Qur'an revealed to the Muslims was all about firming their iman. Praying five times a day, the Islamic rules and laws was all legislated over a decade after the beginning of Islam. But first came the firmness of their hearts. First, you have to have that firm belief in your heart. And then once that happens, the tree begins to grow. And the, the longer the period of time goes, the deeper the roots go, the higher the branches go. When you think about a tree like this, this image that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us, you think of a large, a giant, strong, healthy tree. That's what the believer should be. Far'uha fi sama, its branches going off to the skies, just like the deeds of the believers go to the heavens. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Tu'ti ukulaha kullahin bi idni rabbiha. It gives off its fruit. All of the time, constantly. Believers constantly are the ones who do good deeds. Day and night, night and day. Summer, winter, fall, spring, it doesn't matter. We're awake, we're awake and helping others during the days and we're at home praying in the nights. This is the case of the believer. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us these examples to think about and reflect on. But now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us this example of the kalima that is khabith. This unpleasant, disliked, hated word. And this is the type of tree that represents the disbelievers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَجْتُثَّتْ مِنْ فَوْقِ الْأَرْضِ It's uprooted above the earth's surface. It doesn't have deep roots in this La ilaha illallah. It's like a tree just sitting on top of the ground. You go, you buy a tree, you just leave it to stand by its own. What happens? What happens? It has no basis of, it has nothing to keep it firm. So what happens when the wind blows? The tree falls over. And if it doesn't fall over, it bends. It's not a strong, firm tree. The wind, its desires comes and it blows it. One way it blows this way, one way it blows that way. One day it blows this way, one day it blows that way. Every time the desire comes and calls it to do something, it obeys it. It can't do anything else. It has to submit to its desires. It has no firm roots to stop it from doing so. There's no concept of morality from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this tree. This tree, everything is dictated by its whims and its desires. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from being that tree. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يُثَبِّتُ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives firmness to these who believe. بِالْقَوْلِ ثَابِتِ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ In this life and the next. This verse reminds me of the dua of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, يَا مُقَلِّبَ الْقُلُوبِ O changer of the hearts, ثَبِّتْ Make firm. Qalbi, my heart, ala dinik, on your religion. A very beautiful dua of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We should all recite this dua, especially in this blessed month of Ramadan, in our prayers. Recite this dua constantly, 
يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلبي على دينك O changer of the hearts make my heart firm on your religion يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلبي على دينك Because the reward for that is in this life تثبت firmness in this life وفي الآخرة and in the next life and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيُضِلُّ اللَّهُ الظَّالِمِينَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala misguides those who transgress their limits. There are those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put a limit around the way we should act and the things that we should do. And these are the people that have crossed the line. So because they are people who have crossed the line, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows them to keep on going astray. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the end of the day, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does as He wills. And His will is perfect, complete, full of knowledge, not done out of ignorance. So my brothers and sisters, when we look at this religion, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, for having that ifbat, that firmness in your heart for this path. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who are like that tree that is firmly rooted with its branches to the heavens. By the way, an interesting hadith about this, these verses, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa one day is with the companions because we know that the tree is like the believer but there is a real life tree for us also to actually look at as an example. To have that image in our heads. The Prophet ﷺ was with the companions and he said, Do you know what this tree is? Abu Bakr and Umar عنهم, they're sitting there, and Abdullah bin Umar is sitting there as well. And he is thinking in his head an answer, but he's too shy. He doesn't want to just blur, blur out the answer. So the Prophet ﷺ says, it is the date palm tree. Its roots are deep. It is tall, firm to the heavens, right? To the skies. It extends very high. It can't be shaped and moved easily. And it's constantly giving off fruit all the time. So Abdullah bin Umar, he says afterwards to his father, he says, you know, actually, I knew the answer, but I didn't want to say it in front of the Prophet. I was too shy to say it in front of him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Umar radiallahu anhu said, I wish you had said it. It would have been more beloved to me than anything else. This is a beautiful incident. This is just a beautiful incident from the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam regarding these verses as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us like the firm tree. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those whom have this la ilaha illallah firm in our hearts. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from being like this evil, unpleasant tree. Allahumma dayna fi man hadayt, wa afina fi man afayt, wa tawallana fi man tawallayt, wa barik lana fi ma a'tayt, wa akhiru da'wana ana, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa jazakumullahu khairan, wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi.